Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today I am going to be giving you guys a little bit of information on how to start up a YouTube channel, the basics to starting a YouTube channel for those who think that they want to start a YouTube channel or those who might be in the process of starting a YouTube channel and just don't know like what they need to do. Um, I'm not going to be going into much detail about everything, just going to tell you the basics of what you actually need just to get your channel up and going. So yeah, this is for people who are thinking about wanting to start a YouTube channel up. Um, maybe you've started channel already and you're just like a, a new beginning youtuber and uh, you just want to know a little bit more about how to be a uh, bit be, uh, be a better youtuber sorry got a little tongue tied there so I may be doing other videos similar to this one on just uh, other aspects of YouTube to uh, look at that a lot of people seem to have a lot of uh, questions about so I'm going to be covering just the basics on how to start a YouTube channel in this video now of course there may be a few things that I may not cover but I do think that I'm going to be going over like the you know essential aspects of starting a YouTube channel um, these are all the things that I use that I needed um, so yeah I'm hoping that I can help you out so if you guys enjoy this video remember to hit that like button subscribe share to your friends your family anybody that you can think of turn to your post notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload another video leave all of your thoughts in the comment section down below follow me at all of my social medias I leave them in the description and with all of that let's hop straight into it now if you're thinking about starting up a channel one of the most important things and one of the first things that you're gonna need to figure out is what is the channel going to be about what is the purpose of the channel you know what kind of content are you going to be creating is it going to be a gaming channel is it going to be a cooking ch uh, channel uh, are you gonna be doing vlogs are you gonna be like strictly challenges uh, you need to you need to know what it is that the channel is going to be about now for me and my channel I started my channel uh, to promote more positivity um, and with that I'm able to use a bunch of different kinds of video content um, to promote positivity because a huge part of positivity is like inside of entertainment um, you know people come to YouTube a lot of times to relax get away from negativity that's in their lives or whatever just to relax chill laugh you know have fun or whatever and that's what I want to bring to you know the population to all of you guys um, that's why I do, you know, the vlogs, I do the challenges, reaction videos, the cooking videos. I do a variety of different things to meet uh, the requirements and um, the standards of my my followers. But that's what my channel is about. You need to figure out what your channel is going to be about. If you want to do, like, w just one kind of uh, content, video content, uh, if you want to do gaming or, like, cooking, uh, like I said, for vlogs, um, challenges reactions uh, there's there's so many there's a there's a huge variety of like you know ideas so figure out what you want to uh, what the channel is going to be about uh, why do you want to start the channel and go from there now going straight into the next thing that you're going to need to figure out is after you have figured out what the channel is going to be about you're going to need to come up with the channel title now the name of your channel is going to be it needs to be unique to you and what you're going to be promoting so like if you're a gamer you're going to be doing uh, uh something similar to uh gaming or like uh if it's specific to the kind of system that you're playing on like if you're playing on a pc you could do like pc gamer or something i don't know if that's actually a youtuber out there probably but yeah you're gonna need to figure out uh what kind of like name fits you along with the kind of content that you're creating like me the positive king originally it was the positive angels because that was uh just for the actual channel but then i went back and changed it to uh look back and you know signify me but it does signify me and the channel and what the channel is actually about so yeah that's gonna be a little that's good that might be a little difficult because it does need to fit right with you um you know it took me a little minute to figure out what my channel name was gonna be but you, you you'll find it and make sure you don't copy someone else's because mm, yeah you, you don't want that so going right into the next thing that you're going to need to do is figure out what kind of channel art that you're gonna do now you don't have to um, focus too much on this part but it will help you uh, your channel be noticed by new audiences and everything um, if your channel pops out and stands out like other channels do now if you don't know what the channel art is that's pretty much just the banner and like your profile pic um, you know just how you have the actual channel layout uh, if that's that you'll do that once you actually start putting out videos and everything you can uh, decide how you're gonna have the channel uh, the layout but yeah uh, the banner is a little tricky you might want to um, you know actually look at the actual measurements to make that I would uh, suggest using canva to do that um, 
because I just recently changed mine and it was a little bit of a process. So yeah, but that's just for the YouTube banner. You can uh, get something for the profile pic. Um, it can be, it can just be a picture of you, like mine is, or it can be something that your channel represents. Uh, if you're doing like fashion, it can be like a dress or like if you have a logo, you can, uh, you can have that as your profile pic. But uh, mainly when you have a logo, actually like a logo like that, you're going to want to uh, put that as the watermark. But you'll figure out that uh, when you're doing the channel art and everything. All right, so going into the next thing, these are the items that you're going to need. Um, of, of course, you're going to need a camera, a working camera. Um, if you have an iPhone, that is fine. That's what I started out on, and it, it worked fine. Um, newer versions, you know, are the best, but if you have an older one, but, you know, do you just need a camera? Now, of course, you're going to need an editing software. Uh, if you're going to be doing your content uh, just raw, like without any kind of edits or anything, um, I would recommend you practice uh, with what you're going to be doing in the video so that you're not doing a whole lot of pauses or um, it's not going to be like, you know, just inconsistency. But see, like with channels like this, you're going to need to do a whole lot of cuts and stuff because there's times that you might mess up and something just doesn't sound right or, you know, you just you just go through. But for me, I actually like the editing process. It, it, it just, it calms me. Uh, I have a passion for it, so I don't mind, you know, actually doing cuts and everything. But for the most part, I try not to because I don't like to go back. It's like I don't like to go back, but I do because I like the editing process and adding everything else in. But, you know, it, it, it just feels good to when you can get through it that one time uh, without actually doing the editing. So, yeah, you're going to need some editing software. Um, you're going to need a camera. Uh, you're going to need to have a good place to film your videos if you're going to be doing sit down videos like this. Um, you need to have good light. Now you might want to like think about what kind of lights you're going to have because I still don't have like actual like portable lights. I use the lighting from my windows right now um, because they work really good and that is money that I can actually save to get. Uh, other things that's also another thing that you're gonna need to do uh, you're gonna be if you're gonna be like serious about YouTube you're gonna be spending a lot of money like once you actually get into it um, just like updating you know to get newer uh, things and everything uh, maybe you might move up on like the software and it might actually cost money um, I'm still in the free stage right now um, iMovie is fine I don't I've never I've never used it but iMovie is fine for those who like use Apple products um, but yeah, the camera, you can use an iPhone camera for like a long time because they're coming to like HD cameras now and they have actually have 4K cameras. So those are actually fine. You don't have to, you don't have to get like an actual camera camera, but um, you know, eventually you may want to move to that like I did. But if you want to stick with your phone, that is fine. That's completely fine. Now, if you're going to be live streaming, if your channel is just going to be like for live streams, like say for gaming, or if you're just going to be doing like uh, live events, um, I would recommend you finding a live streaming product that can uh, meet your uh, necessary, you know, goals or whatever. Um, because YouTube has a live stream, you know, thing, but uh, there are other, you know, products that can connect to YouTube, but give you more options. Um, because with I think just going straight through YouTube you're like just on a camera and it's like right there in front of you so unless you're doing videos like that I don't really have much to offer on that because I don't do many live streams I don't know much about live streaming and other platforms that do live streaming um, I'm planning on getting more into that but I don't have much to actually go on that but once I do I will make another video about that alright so the next thing that you want to go and look at is who is the target audience who are you making these videos for now automatically you're going to want to think about an age uh, range unless you're doing something like me where you just want it to be for everybody but if you want it to be like a specific uh, uh, age group like if this is a, a inspiration channel for like uh, the youth uh, maybe like 12 to 18 or, or something like that or if you're doing like cooking videos for like middle-aged maybe like 21 to I don't know 30 that's not middle-aged but yeah yeah you're gonna want to know what the the range is and who you want to uh, who you're trying to reach out to 
Now, like I said, for me, I'm reaching out to everybody because I believe that everybody needs positivity. But like for gaming videos, they may reach uh, the the younger viewers. Now, granted, you're gonna have people come from you know all over uh, who aren't in your target range, but it's you know it's all about who you are you know targeting. Who do you want to see these videos? You know, like who who is your main audience? Who do you want to be your main audience? Now, going on into that with knowing who uh, your target audience is going to be, you're going to need to know how to type your videos now this is very important for your videos and how um, how how like how much you get out there um, because if you just do like a basic title that's not really catchy or or if the title is too long because people don't really like to read it needs to be like between I forget how much you can actually put in a title it is a limited uh, amount of characters but you don't need to put like past half of that you need to make sure that your videos have a catchy title um, that you highlight certain words um, if your channel is going to be about like certain gaming videos um, you know target uh, a specific word in there or like the game that you're going to be live streaming um, or if you're cooking a specific dish make sure you highlight what it actually is um, if it's the first time in the kitchen make sure you like emphasize first um, you know, it's just little things like that that catch people's attention because if something is bolded or if it's in all caps or if it's like not a long title and it's just like you, you leave it in, uh, in suspense, like if you put a dot 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 behind something that makes people want to click on the video because it seems interesting to them. They, they, they see that title. They don't want to read a whole lot. So they read that little bit. They see that it, it jumps to them. It, 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 it catches their attention and then they go into the video and then they can go from there. Now along with the title, you also need to create a catchy thumbnail. Now these might be a little bit tricky because if you're not really into the whole graphic design or whatever, I mean, you can find a video on how to make a thumbnail. That's pretty much what I did. But start, uh, I did that like halfway through because when I started out, I was making my own thumbnails just based off of what I saw on other people. I was trying my best to do that and they were pretty good, I guess. Uh, they definitely improved over time, but once I actually sat down and watched a video on how to create like a legit thumbnail, um, they, they improved like, yeah, but I was always into the kind of like graphic designs and stuff, making flyers and stuff. So I always, uh, uh, could do that. I just didn't know exactly what I needed to make, you know, a proper thumbnail. Um, but yeah, those are definitely going to need to catch you along with the title. You just need to make it pop uh, to catch their attention, you know, make them want to click on the video, make it look interesting. Yeah, the titles and the thumbnails are the, like very important about uh, when you're actually starting up the channel and everything. That will help you get out there. Uh, your videos will get referred because they'll be like other people's videos and then you'll be on like my uh for the for you pages they'll just pop up because they, uh, your video has been recommended uh, yeah you're gonna you're gonna get out there but you have to have like a catchy title and a uh, catchy thumbnail now I can definitely attest it is because uh, one of my videos actually went viral that's how it got monetized on YouTube uh, when one of my videos went viral uh, at a Jaqueline Carr concert uh, it was Jaqueline Carr and Kaylante Gavin uh, but it was Jaqueline's uh, praise break at the end of the concert uh, and I put her name along with Kelante's name and Kristen Jameson's name. Now these are popular topics that are like searched up on YouTube a lot. Just those names. So when you put something like that in your title, it's going to get out there. Like the audiences that like, you know, type up those names and whatever, it's going to get referred to those pages, especially if you're getting a lot of views on it. So yeah, that that's just going it's just going to build from there. So make sure you have something that is catchy in the title or something that is like, you know, popular. Um, you could hashtag, uh, you know, something that is like in your video to help it get along like that because those work too. I haven't really actually used those, but I have heard that those work too. And of course the thumbnails because, you know, you don't want a dead thumbnail because they're not going to want to watch the video. It has to look interesting, make the video look interesting, and yeah. So I'm coming to the end of the video. Um, the last few things that I want to tell you guys is just to do your own thing. Don't try to be too much like any other channels. You can take ideas from other channels, but don't don't try to completely like copy what somebody else is doing. Do your own thing and um, you know, just have fun with it. Don't don't be too serious about it unless it's like a serious, you know, channel too serious like uh, informative uh, if you're doing like 
I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Um, YouTube isn't really the best platform to be doing, like, you know, serious, serious things because that's where people go to, like, you know, relax, chill, or just to find out information about stuff. But if you're going to do that, um, you know, you go for it, but just follow the first few, like, you know, uh, steps that I gave you. But yeah, pretty much do your own thing because when I started out my channel, um, I was new to YouTube. I didn't really know what to do. I had to feel it into it because what I was starting off doing uh it wasn't it I was like a robot I had no emotion it just wasn't giving and so eventually I did get co more comfortable with doing YouTube that was a big part of it too I was uncomfortable because I wasn't like you know familiar and like being in front of a camera so that was something different but eventually I did get into it and you know you just have to start feeling it having fun with it uh, you know it becomes a part of your life you know so yeah do your own thing don't try to copy anybody else's now there's nothing wrong with getting ideas like I said before you can get ideas from other people's channels and everything but just don't try to like copy exactly what they did uh, make it your own like you know do your own thing make it your own and the last thing that I want to tell you guys is to stay consistent now this might be the hardest part about being like a youtuber staying consistent because you also have to do this along with your daily life now you do have to have a balance you do need to make sure that you have all of your priorities set before you actually you know pick up the camera and are filming like you know a fun video now if it's something like what I would do um, you know like actually moving towards a higher goal then yeah you need to make sure that everything is you know balance make sure you're having enough time to do YouTube make sure you're having enough time to you know pay your bills or, or, or um, you know get your schoolwork done you know make sure everything is is lining up the way it's supposed to now what I mean by staying consistent is uh, you need to figure out a plan uh, how often do you want to post how often uh, uh, are you going to like upload now for me I'm trying to do at least every once a week um, I think I've been doing pretty good with that um, maybe a little bit um, I might like upload two videos a week um, but it's not really like a seven days and then the next video it's it's, it's not really like that um, I go like maybe out of like five days maybe like eight days uh, but you do see another video like the next week but yeah guys if you stay focused if you stay consistent with it you're going to prosper the channel is going to grow like mine did um, I'm going to create another video like this talking about YouTube monetization because that is also another topic that people have a lot of questions about. Um, I am happy to inform you guys about a few things about that um, that I have experienced um, just to clear the air with a few things because I have a few things that I actually want to talk about because I was struggling to find these answers myself when I was getting monetized on YouTube. So, I'm going to make sure that I address all of those. But if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, share to your friends, your family, anybody that you can think of. I will see you guys in the next video. And remember to stay positive.